Hello everyone, my name is DJ Barry and in this video we'll be going over s Deals performance from Friday and what this means for the future of the stock price. If you guys are new to my channel, I make videos where I talk about stocks, finances, and other aspects of investing. So if you like this kind of content, then feel free to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And also guys, we are still extremely close to hitting 4,000 subscribers, so it would be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe. It's free and also helps me grow my channel and helps videos like this reach more people. So s and opened up on Friday trading at 82 cents and then right after we opened we hit the high for the day of 83 cents but unfortunately right after that we came crashing right down and we hit a low of 79 cents then mostly for the rest of the day we, we stayed right around 79 cents and 80 cents mostly all day long and at 4 p.m we closed the day trading at 79 cents but then in the after hours we were able to come back up one cent and officially finish off the week trading at 80 cents. So at the middle point of last week, s and in the rest of the market was looking very strong. We were able to see s and run back up to the 88 cent level and everything was going pretty good. But then unfortunately to end off the week, everything just turned around out of nowhere and in the worst way possible, we came right back down to the 80 cent level after coming down so much on Thursday and Friday. And on Friday, we came down 2.76%. But for the last week, we are up 2.79%, so at least there is some positives. And there are no major updates from s and right now, so for the next part of this video, we're going to jump right into the stock charts and see what they are telling us. And as always, first I want to talk about our support line. So what I like to do when I'm looking for the support line is I like to identify the major line of support, and then just the normal support line that the stock has been holding up recently. And the first one I want to go over in this video is our major support line. So as you guys can see here on the chart, back on May 13th, we saw s and crash down and hit a low of 65 cents. So now the 65 cent line is going to be our major support line because this is the lowest point we've hit in over three months. And for those who don't understand what I mean when I say major support line, think of this line as like a belt keeping up your pants. This line is the major line that's holding up the stock and keeping it from crashing down much lower. And if we do break below this line, then that'll be a pretty good signal that will most likely see the stock price from crashing down a very good amount before we see the bleeding stop. So we really do not want to break below this line. And right now, s and has been going in the red a lot, so let's hope we can see that turn around, and let's hope we can see that gap grow bigger. But now let's move on and talk about the actual spur line that s and has formed last week. So our normal spur line is going to be the 79 cent line. And as you guys can see here on the chart, after we saw s and crash down on Friday, this is the line we are stable at. So when s and hit this price, the stock chose some support and we were able to hold this line. So for now, our spur line is going to be the 79 cent line. And if we do break below this line, then that'll obviously not be a good sign. But as long as we stay above that major spur line of 65 cents, then we'll be okay. And with s and being beat down so much over the last few weeks, I think we could see things start to turn around a little bit. And I think we could see Sundial form a new and higher support line very soon. But then again, with the markets being very unpredictable, I always could be wrong. So that is just my opinion. But now we should have to wait and see if we can hold this line. But as, but as I said before, if we do break below this line, then obviously that is not a good sign. But as long as we stay above our major support line, then we'll be all right. So those were the two lines that we're looking to stay above, but now to move on to talk about the lines that we're trying to break above. So what I like to do when I'm looking for the line that the stock to break above, I like to get the previous levels that the stock was trading at before we came down to a lower price. So when we take a look at the chart, we can see that we were trading at 83 cents before we came down to where we are right now. So now when s and hit this line, the stock showed some resistance and was unable to break above. So now this is the line we want s and to try and break above because if we can break above previous resistance points, then that'll be a very good sign. And if we do break above the 83 cent line, then the next line we'll be trying to break above will be the 86 cent line. Okay, so after everything we talked about in this video, where can we see s and go tomorrow, Monday, July 26th? So right now, s and is sitting in a very unpredictable position because right now we are following the rest of the stock market and it is extremely difficult to predict where the whole overall stock market will go. And as I said earlier in this video, at the middle point last week, we saw the whole overall stock market and s and all take off and be in the green. But then to end off the week, we saw the complete opposite as the stock market once again took a turn for the worst and almost every sector, including s and and the rest of the cannabis sector, came right back down. So now going into next week with the stock market being very unpredictable, it is really hard to say exactly where we could see s and go, but I'll be doing my best to give you guys the most accurate predictions possible, so here we go. So for tomorrow, I think we will be in the red, but I don't think we'll be in the red by too much. I think we could see s and go down about 1% or maybe even less than that. 
I don't think we'll see too much action tomorrow, but I think we could start the day with a little bit more excitement than normal and reach a high of about 83 cents. But I think that'll be followed up by a dip and we could hit a low of either 78 cents or 79 cents. And I think we'll close the day around 79 cents or 80 cents and be around that same level for most of the day, just like we did on Friday. And that's going to be all for this video, guys. Those are my predictions on where I think SNDL is going tomorrow, but now I'm curious to see what you guys think. So comment your predictions down below and hope you guys all enjoyed. And if you did, then feel free to like and subscribe because, guys, we are 50 subscribers away from 4,000. So it would mean a lot to me if you guys could subscribe. And also, guys, I am extremely sorry for the lack of uploads lately. And I know SNDL had a crazy week last week with all the action. And I was only able to post one video, and I am extremely sorry about that. I know a lot of you guys come to my channel every single day for these daily videos. Well, I try to make daily videos. I know a lot of you guys rely on me. And I know a lot of you guys are disappointed in like when I don't post videos. And I'm extremely disappointed myself. Just my schedule has been very jam-packed lately with family and summer starting up. I've just had a lot of things going on. And I, I am extremely sorry about the lack of uploads lately. And I will be doing my best to post even more. But anyways, thank you guys all for watching. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen, and peace out.